the internet. So I recently got Chen Sing to Manifestation 5, so she is M5. And for the anniversary gift, I got her weapon. So, yeah. I normally don't do snowbreak videos too often. So this is more like a filler video, just because at the time of posting, it's one day before Raiden Shogun's banner. So I'm going to make a video on that, but since there's nothing to post, I'm just going to make this video. So in terms of aesthetics and looks, she is okay. I think she's probably the more wholesome generation before it, so it was actually snow broke before snow peak so she was in the first generation of characters so she's a lot more covered up so a lot more modest as you can see her original outfit is a lot more covered up this one is okay it's got a little bit of skin and then the summer event right now is the skin but it's paid and then you've got your dragon skin as well it's got a tail okay so she's an assault rifle character so she fires from long to mid range you can shoot for close range if you want to so her specialization is multi-targets so she uses chain lightning so when she fires a bullet at an enemy it will cause a chain lightning to hit the next enemy and i think the max is around about eight enemies that she can chain and i'll demonstrate that in the video shortly her logistics is the miyagi squad so this is probably designed for her you can use the other logistic if you want to i think there is another one that she can use for the aim down shot the ads you can use that one but since this is her custom logistics may as well use it so if you're new to the game you can get the logistics from the uh, operations I believe and it will be these ones so it'll be in the abyss mine refinement so Miyagi squad right away it's the first one so they've got the character icon next to each squad so all of these logistics are custom for the character and also if you're missing the weapon I believe you can farm up some tokens for this and then you can go to the shop so once you have enough tokens you can go to the shop just get what we need and I believe it'll be weapon exchange no the other one fortune weapons so you can get her four star weapon which is this in fact I've got the five star I mean four star weapon I do actually have the five star weapon as well so this is her four star tier five weapon and yes the four star Chen Xing is holding it as well so it increases 20% of attack when firing at a weak spot so if you're free to play and you don't have her 5 star weapon so this is a good weapon to have you can simply grind it out and get it alright so coming back to the 5 star Chen Xing her weapon increases electric damage and increases crit rate by 12% also when dealing electrical damage you gain one stack of crimson cloud max of 50 
And what that does is that it increases your attack by 21%. That is a lot. Uh, it's only five. So for five seconds. Okay, it's not that bad. But in five seconds, you do a lot of damage. In terms of character DPS, since she is like the earlier one, I think newer characters just out DPS her. So power creep. However, her niche is mobs, or at least like a boss that has multiple destructible parts. So that's her specialization. All right. So we can talk about manifestations. So basically all of them just like power up her main skill, the Silk Spiritual Slip. So we've got Breeze, which increases the ballistic damage on weak spots. Okay. And then you got M2, duration of the Spiritual Slip. And Scarlet Thunder by 50%. M3, Celestial Tribulation. Your Spiritual Slip is increased by 30% crit rate. That's cool. And then M4, Tiger Wings. So Spiritual Slip is level by 1 and your detonation damage by 44% that's kind of useless to be honest because most enemies die before then but hey if you're versing a tanky enemy maybe it's helpful but I reckon M4 is the weakest one and then M5 your spiritual slips are detonated by Chen Xing's shot there is a 30% to deal extra damage up to 50% damage of the detonation damage. So M5 is good if you're rapidly firing at one target, which you're pretty much doing all the time unless you're target switching a lot, which doesn't happen too often. But if you're just firing at one target, then yeah, I suppose it will do a lot of damage. Okay, in terms of Neuronics, just unlock everything. Like, just max your character up and then just unlock everything. Like, do we need to cover them? Because I'm pretty sure every player just unlocks everything, right? So, we can go over them if you want to. For this one, 70% of attack is electrical damage okay energy firing a weak spot recovers one ultimate energy her celestial key hits and resets the spiritual slips actually this one i would pick this one first because that's quite helpful and then next one, Spiritual Slip can mark up to 8 targets at once. That's your next one to level up. And what is this? It can inflict 2 seconds of Paralyze. Uh, I would say that's kind of meh. And then you've got the Dominant Zone. Increase ballistic damage taken by the enemies by 20%. So that would be number three. So special, special vulnerability. And then damage, energy, then control. Okay, but like I said, just get it to level 90 or level 80. And then just unlock everything. Okay. So I think we covered all the basics. So that is her best weapon. We can go for recommendations and just see what else. So this is her four-star weapon, the Wild Lair. 
it's fine. You can grind this up if you don't have the five star. And this is the anti-evil ward. That's what we're using. Only tier one. So tier two is the max, but since I picked this from the anniversary reward, I only have got one copy of it, so that's totally fine. Okay. And we're using the Miyagi squad. Is that Miyagi? Oop. I can't read. It is Ming Yi squad. I said Miyagi. Okay, well, English is not my first language. I apologize. Okay, so we covered everything. Let's showcase what she does. Get back. So, as you can see, cleansed. she can target multiple different parts. And she deals a lot of damage. Reloading. When you're fighting the I guess bosses with multiple parts and then you hit the weak spot, it deals a lot of damage. So yeah, and then her support skill just allows I, I can't promise anything, okay? Her to freeze enemies. You are bound. Like it only holds them for two seconds. Situation so it's not is like under control. It's nothing. Not a problem. Okay. I don't know if I can show you her ultimate, to be honest. No, I don't think I can get the ultimate in time. That's unfortunate. But basically her ultimate just launches a missile. Well, kind of. And it just does AoE damage. Reloading. I don't have enough energy. Happen a lot. No need to worry. Okay, I don't think I can show you her ultimate. I do apologize. <sighs> nope, okay. Well, we'll just end it here. I saw how it would end for you. Just because we're about to die, so. I wish they had a training range. All is in motion. There is balance. But you don't use the ultimate anyways. It's very rare that you use the ultimate because it takes so long to charge up. But she basically just launches a missile at the person or launches a spear. I think that's the more accurate term. She launches a spear at the enemy. The spear explodes and then it does AOE damage for a few seconds. It's not that great, to be honest. Her main kit is her skill. You want to use her skill as often as possible. So that's basically how you use her. And yeah, I mean, that's the M5 showcase. All right, I think we covered everything. Like. She's a fun character to use. She's very safe and stable. In terms of damage, I would say she's definitely power crept by a whole bunch of other characters such as Cherno. Cherno, Katia, they do way more damage than Chen Sing. So if you're looking for maximum DPS, pick the newer characters. But if you're looking for a niche character that shoots mobs and shoots multiple mobs, then Chen Xing is the character to do that. Now, she is one of the original characters that do have some English voice lines, so 
if you prefer English, that's cool, I guess. But I suppose a lot of people use Japanese or the other languages, Korean or Chinese as well. So, yeah. What else? How else can I sell this character to you? Or, like, showcase her? I think that is everything. I mean, yeah, dominance, she throws a spear out. So, I wish they had like a little animation, but they don't. That's the only thing that I haven't showed you. I've showed you her standard skill and her support skill. Alright. So, is she a good character to pick up and use? I think she's very beginner friendly. Definitely for sure. So, you do need to be mechanically skilled and aiming headshots but I mean this is a shooting aim so if you're aiming for body shots then she does alright damage but headshot she does more damage but that's for like every character that you use right and she's not like super mechanically that you need to be like a super sniper She's more like a run and gun, aim for the head type character. So I would say in terms of difficulty, very low. Probably like two or three difficulty out of ten. So very easy to use. Or I would say, yeah, or seven in terms of easiness. Depending on how you rate your characters. Alright, I think that's everything. So, ooh, pairings. So, what's a good team for her? I forgot about team builds. I think it depends on the situation. So, if you were fighting Hella, like I was before, then your character roster would be a healer, and then something that amplifies your damage, like... Kaguya. So those two are good. If you're fighting multiple mobs, then having Tiss might be a good option just to bring your energy up so you can use your ultimate for AoE damage. Another option is Starshine. So Finny Starshine. Just because her support skill gives you more ammo, so you don't have to reload as often. I think that's a good combo. So maybe Finny and a healer, or a healer and a Kaguya. I think those are good. She's definitely a main DPS. So, she does a lot of damage. And in terms of supports, pretty much every character works with her. So, as long as you've got a healer and you got something else, you're totally fine. I think Mauser is a good one too. Just because then you can summon the... I guess the mummy decoy. And then just fire at the mummy for enhanced damage so that works as well so since she's the main dps every roster or every character works for her that can support her but those are just my recommendations thanks for watching hope you had a great day be sure to like subscribe share with your friends ring the bell turn on all notifications Leave a comment below if you plan on wishing for Chen Xing. Alright, if you want to support the channel, become a member or drop a super thanks. Until next time, see ya.